Chris Popper. I'm joined by Nessa Rice Snyder from uh, Fabricate and also the unofficial official historian of MDI Hospital, which has turned 120 years. And you weren't there when it was born, but no, you've just got the almost, the, almost, almost, almost the bit. institutional memory. Well, I've remade it a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's some really wonderful sources for that. There are guidebooks of the era where you can glean information and uh, you know just some of the hospital's own publications over the years we you know mined all of that to try to find out all how all this started so what we're going to be doing throughout the the year is on the 12th of every month publish a video about neat things about MDI hospital and you're going to talk about today about the creation of the mm -hmm. hospital yep well I uh, a lot of people don't know that it's the first hospital established in Hancock County um, and before that time people in the entire Down East Coast were really bound to go to Bangor if they needed any sort of sophisticated um, medical help uh, that was daunting and the hospital was conceived of at a moment when um, a lot of people were making the island their summer home as we know and so those people in particular were quite concerned that that was a daunting distance to travel to get um, treated. It, it's a daunting distance in the summer anytime. It is, it is for <laughs> those right of now. us with automobiles. Exactly. So um, what happened was a really interesting um, uh, coalescence of uh, people, both local and from away. Uh, and it's a grouping of people that really founded a lot of the institutions that made Bar Harbor what it is now. Um, and it was lawyers and physicians, both local as well as summer people. We had a lot of summer physicians back then from Philadelphia, for mm. example. And that has been consistently throughout the hospital's history, a group of people who um, contributed to our uh, development, who uh, gave us ideas about how to improve the medical landscape. In fact, the first hospital was outfitted by a Philadelphia doctor, the original building. Um, so they got together with shop owners, with real estate people, with just all the cast of characters who were usually in on uh, Civic Bar Harbor Matters, and they came up with the concept for a hospital. Um, interestingly, back then, uh, in order to make a hospital palatable, it had to um, exclude people who were infectious in any way. So well, you don't want sick people going <laughs> to the hospital well, at but, all. But but you you have to kind of contrast infectious in, in the obvious way right. versus an appendix, for example, which was a pretty common ailment. That was treatable at a hospital, but a, a, an obvious infectious illness was not. And so, I don't know if you know this, there was an institution in called the Pest House. Really? Yeah. In, into recent memory, there are people uh, who are living now that we interviewed for the film that we've made yeah. who remember having had pneumonia as a child and the consensus was, well, she'll have to go to the pest house. So that's where the, the infectious sick people were treated. That was what was, yeah, because it was considered um, that it wouldn't be possible to keep people safe from those infections in a hospital setting back then. They didn't have antiseptics. They didn't have all of the, you know, uh, uh, things that we have now to make that uh, a better solution for those people. So yeah, there was this thing called the pest house, and that existed for a long time. I haven't delved into the history of it, but our hospital was established for heart patients, for appendices, for uh, anything that had to do with cancer, obviously, um, longer term illnesses, uh, birthing, all of those things had no place to be done. And so um, in 1897, the first annual meeting was convened, all of the plans were set forth. There had been a little bit of a back and forth about where you would put this thing. Ledgelon Avenue rejected it did not want a hospital in their neighborhood. Well, they don't want trick-or-treaters, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they, um, and in Ledgelon back then uh, was uh, populated with a lot of, um, like, uh, stables, right? There was a, it was a very grand, wide avenue, and so it would have made sense to place something there, but that neighborhood rejected it, so they ended up with this little piece of land tucked on Hancock Street that I don't remember how they made the arrangements, but somebody sold it to the so corporation. So it's still kind of in the original where, where it was it's built? It's absolutely in the same footprint, yes. Wow. Um, it had a different uh, perspective back then. It was wooden, the original yeah. building, um, and it faced a little differently. Um, and then the other thing was that not long after the hospital was established, they built what they called the nurse's home 
And that was an attempt to deal with a problem that still exists, which is how do you attract people to this very small place? You need to house them. Right. So um, they built a wooden nurse's home also. And then after the fire of 47, anything wooden was a, a little bit uh, suspect. Now, the hospital was spared in the, in the fire. It was not in any way affected. But uh, the decision was made to go full on brick at that point. So they totally revised the campus. And then the nurse's home burned to the ground. Oh, wow. Yeah. And after that happened, they said, well, maybe not so much with the housing the nurses <laughs> anymore. So they didn't build another one. And then the campground was built. And, uh, oh, right. So, um, so yeah, it's a really interesting story how um, People got together and imagined it, and within a matter of a year, it was a reality. So, and there was a film that was just produced, mm -hmm. Peter Logue uh, from MDI High School, yes. who's a, a great filmmaker. Phenomenal filmmaker. He did a great job on this movie. So, and that's been shown at the Jessup, and it's going to be shown at the various libraries yeah. in the community in the next year. We actually premiered it not at the Jessup, oh, but sorry. at the uh, Southwest Harbor okay. Library. But the Jessup will be having it also in April. And then subsequent, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to do uh, a Northeast Harbor as well, and uh, some other showings. I suspect that it will become something that will have some homes to be shown in during the course of the yeah. year. Because it's, it's not a, a lengthy movie, it's just about a half hour. But uh, it tells a story that a lot of people are going to be interested to hear, I think. Very cool. All right, so the local hospital, MDI Hospital, turning... 120 years this year. I'm sure they're going to have some information on the website. We are. You can go to mdihospital.org and uh, click on a history or, or a tab there and you'll be able to find out more about uh, the history of the hospital here on the island. That's great. Thank you.